Hi, I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. And I'm Pete Fabiano, also producer on Resident Evil Village. We hope you all had the chance to check out and enjoy our trailer. Some of you are probably wondering why we didn't just call the game Resident Evil 8. Well, it's still the eighth in the series, and we're treating it as such. You can even see the Roman numeral 8 in the game logo, so it's Resident Evil 8, just not in name. Yeah, I like the play on the design and the simplicity in the name, but we'll touch more on that a little later. For now, why don't we just jump in and let viewers know a little bit more about the game itself. First off, Resident Evil Village will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Steam. Right, and in line with previous Resident Evil titles, we're using RE Engine. That engine brought Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Resident Evil 2, Devil May Cry 5, and most recently, Resident Evil 3 to life. We were able to take all that we learned from those titles, along with our internal development efforts, and optimize the latest version of the engine for the next generation of consoles. With the combined power of next-gen and RE Engine, we can take our developers' vision to new heights. Once again, we're planning a fresh take on survival horror, this time upping the ante on action a bit. Realistic graphics and immersive audio, coupled with no load times, will really draw you into the world we've created for Resident Evil Village. Speaking of which, the game takes place a few years after the events of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Right, and it follows the story of protagonist Ethan Winters. Ethan's gone back to living an ordinary life, but of course, it wouldn't be a proper story without a new challenge to overcome. Chris Redfield, a decorated hero fighting against bioterrorism, makes his return, but not in the way you'd think. He's the reason Ethan's life gets turned upside down. Let's take a look at some key art. You can see Chris looking dark and far more brooding than in Aria Resident Evil appearances. The last thing worth mentioning in terms of characters here is the village itself. It plays such a crucial role as the backdrop and setting of the game that we consider it very much its own character as well. All right, shifting gears, let's talk a bit about the game's design. You'll notice the familiar first-person perspective from Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It really helps bring players into the world, it makes them feel like they're Ethan, with the same sense of heightened tension and fear. Here's a quick look at the game running in engine. The team is working really hard to create a great experience. You can really see the details, even close up. Let's take a look at the inventory. For players familiar with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard or the recent versions of Resident Evil 2 and 3, you'll be right at home. We hope you enjoyed this additional look into Resident Evil Village. Oh, and here's one more piece of key art. You might want to pay extra close attention to this one. There's a lot that's being shown in it. So much so that we debated whether or not to actually put it in the announced trailer. Take a look and let your imagination run wild. We are aiming to have more to show you towards the end of summer. So, until, until next, next time. time.